Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I've got another quick video clip to show you guys some exercises you can do at home or in the gym. As you see, I've got a chair, a dumbbell, and I do have a ball under there. A medicine ball works, a basketball works, any type of ball you have works. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I had several requests asking me how to get rid of some of the flab under the arm and tone up the back side of the arm. So I'm gonna be showing you that today. That's called your tricep. Three muscles make up your tricep, which is why it is called a tricep. And we're going to work all three of those today. Now, these may be exercises that you are familiar with, at least two of them, but I want to make sure you guys are doing them properly because if they're not done properly, you will be exercising the muscle a little bit, but not to its maximum potential. And you can do anything to its maximum potential without weight or with just your body weight and make much more gains than you can doing it without the proper form. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you a tricep dip. You need a chair, a step, doesn't really matter. There are two modifications. Actually, there are, there are several, but I'm gonna show you two. This is a little simpler with your feet under your knees and all you're going to do is lower yourself down. Do not strain your shoulder joint and push right back up. Now notice when I go down, my elbows aren't splaying out to the side. That works your chest and your shoulders when you do that. We want to focus on the back of the arms. Keep your back near the chair, drag it down, and push right back up. Now if you want to make this exercise a little more difficult, extend your legs out in front of you and come straight down and straight back up. And again, everybody's depth will be a little bit different. If you can't even you know, get down a little bit, you can hold yourself in this position, flex your triceps, and you will actually get a little bit of a workout doing that too. So depending on what your level is. Now, if you want to make it a little more challenging, you can put your feet up on another chair. You can add a dumbbell to your lap. And again, 10 to 15 of those should tire your arms out. Now, once you're, once you're finished with the tricep dips, try grabbing a dumbbell, have a seat right on the edge of the chair, and make sure you have good posture for this, guys. No slouching forward or rounded back. You need to have your spine nice and straight in a neutral position. Try not to jump your neck out or backwards. I see so many people doing uh, tricep extensions, which is what this is called, with the dumbbell hanging up and down. I actually prefer doing it with my hands on either side of the dumbbell so I can keep my elbows narrow. Weight goes directly behind your head near the top of your traps and you're just going to extend the weight up overhead keeping your elbows at the same position. Pretend like there is a, a hinge that your elbows move on and they're not, they're not allowed to move beyond this point. 10 to 15 of those and that should be a great tricep workout for you. Now I'm going to finish up with a little bit of cardio. And yes, cardio can be done working your arms. Now this is something you can do with a basketball. Um, a weighted ball actually makes it a little more challenging. I want you to set a timer for 60 seconds and I want you to bounce the ball as many times as you can, pushing down with your arms, focusing on using your triceps. Guys, it's your tricep workout for today. I'm already warm. Have a great day, thanks for tuning in. I do actually listen and read your comments and suggestions, so the more I get, the more videos will come out. Thank you so much for finding Fit Life with Blythe, and we'll chat again soon.